All these designs were made with AI. In the age of AI generated apps, you need to make your app stand out. I'm gonna show you how to create the most powerful and unique UIs that are impactful with UX Pilot and Gemini 3. Yes, we are at a stage where we can push the boundaries of what AI can generate. I'm gonna give you a few prompts and ideas that will make your app stand out. Let me show you this easy and powerful workflow. Hi, my name is Jad. I lead a community of product builders pushing the boundaries of AI. And today I'm gonna show you how to leverage the latest AI advancements to come up with unique UIs that don't look like they are AI generated. We'll use a combination of Google Gemini and UX Pilot to create some unique ideas. I'll show you all the new things you can do with UX Pilot now. And I honestly don't think we need Figma anymore. Let's jump in. Let's start by building the prompt first. Copy this prompt from the video description and fill in your information between the brackets. For example, a journaling mobile app or a budgeting web app. If you have more requirements, you can add them in there as well. Then at the end, enter your desired theme. Here's a few ideas that will inspire you. Try them out, they're super fun to work with. For example, here I made a social media app with Numorphic style. This is one of my favorite styles. It looks very clean and unique. And this is a fully coded and fully editable design that you can copy into Figma or you can copy the code and build it and it will include all the interactions and the animations. Make sure you use the max and the deep design option to get a more detailed UI. When you're happy with your home screen, you can click on generate at the top and then generate a flow for the rest of the pages that will stay consistent. The next thing you can do here is copy this design into Gemini and ask for the assets that you want to include in your app to make it even more unique and more customized. Here I gave Gemini this screenshot and I said, give me a background that would work nicely in this UI and it gave me a background. Then I said, I only want the background layer and it gave me the background image that I can include in my assets. Then I said, give me an icon set that would work well with this design. I made a few prompt changes and then it came up with this list of icons that I can use in my assets as well. All I have to do here is download this and make sure I crop each icon in the same exact size and include it in your package as well. Here's another example where I started to ideate with Gemini to come up with a claymorphic design style. And this is what it came up with. And then I asked for assets in PNG so that I can export them and use them. So you can crop the images here to use them as assets. And here's an example of a home automation app. The first one I created with Gemini and I grabbed the photo and I told UX Pilot to build it. So it used the image from Gemini to build this. But then I told Gemini to describe this UI so that I can build it with the UI generator. So I copied the whole description from Gemini and I gave it to Xpilot and then it gave me an even better UI. It gave me this whole description to build this UI from scratch and I gave it to Xpilot and it generated this. So this is the screenshot to UI conversion and this is the text to UI. Text to UI always looks better. And the cool thing here is that you can click on edit at the top and there's a manual edit feature in UX Pilot now. So you can click on any element and you can see all the layers on the left and all of the properties for the styling on the right side. Let's say I want to bring this to the left a little bit. I'll say horizontally 50. There we go, it's on the left now. And you can even add components when you click on symbols at the top. You can add the component that you have selected and then you can reuse it anywhere in your design. See, I added it here now. But yeah, you can manually edit your design inside of UX Pilot now, which is awesome. Here I asked for a cosmic space and planetary theme style, and it gave me this really cool record animation at the bottom here with the clusters and planets at the top. And then here I created a social media app with a rugged style. And this is what it came up with. Really beautiful and unique UI with stylized icons and buttons. It's really hard to tell that this was AI generated. Look at the tab bar at the bottom. 
And this is all coded so you can use it. It's not just a concept image, it's actually working. You can click on any design and click the code at the top and here you can copy this code and then you can build it looking exactly the same. Here's another idea with an origami playful style and it turned out really nice. And then I created another app that is Cyberpunk for managing tasks and the fonts and the styling are just very unique and beautiful. Look at this animation at the top and everything animates and check out the tab bar at the bottom. Just always make sure you have the max and deep design on and it will come up with something unique every single time. Here's a glassy gradient style. I love the glow on the cards at the top and the tab bar is nice. Here's the home automation app that I created by grabbing a screenshot from Gemini and building it here. All I said is create this page and it created the whole thing for me. Here's a futuristic style that uh, I came up with in Gemini. But then I said make it more extreme and look at what you can come up with. The possibilities are endless. Of course, I'm not gonna use a design like this, but some people would. Here's another prompt I tried with uh, Gemini for an AI assistant app. Let's copy this image. Paste it here in uh, UX Pilot. And I'll just say build this. And there we go, here's the design generated from the screenshot that we got from Gemini. Now here's how you can experiment to come up with the best design possible. Go back to Gemini and say describe this UI for me so that I can build it with a UI generator. Here's a very long and detailed prompt. I'm just gonna copy it all. I paste it here. And let's hit generate and see the difference. And there we go, here's another option for this design. I don't know why the profile photo is spinning. And then it added a bunch of things at the bottom because I selected the deep design mode, which will take some liberties to add some features to your app. And once you settle on a design and generate all of the rest of the pages, you can package it all with the assets that you generated with Gemini and hand it off to a developer to build it, or you can build it yourself using an AI coding tool. And it will be super easy to hand off or to build because you have the full code behind this UI. So go ahead and experiment with this and let me know what you come up with. I would love to see what you guys create. And if you wanna use UX Palette, please use the link in my description. It will help out this channel. They're not a sponsor. I just really love this tool and I've been using it for a long time link in the description. And as usual, let me know if you have any questions and I'll answer everything in the comments. I hope you're doing well and I see you in the next video.